Welcome to another tutorial from helpvid.net. Today we're going to talk about optimising our site for the web, which is really important. Now, there is a hundred different things we could go through. We'll just go through the main and most important ones just now. So, first we'll talk about images. Now, as you can see, I have a tiled background here, this grey tiled thing. So bring up my folder that my website is in, you can see here, this is the image, this is my background and it is a very, very small image that is repeated throughout the background, which means it will load up a hundred times faster than a huge image, a thousand pixels by a hundred pixels or whatever, so it's very important, make an image as small as you can and just repeat it. That is you optimising your background. Also, these pictures of bikes here. I've took these pictures into Photoshop and I have cropped them. By cropping them, I mean there is a huge amount of background that I didn't need. Take this one here, the Suzuki image. This had a massive background and it was just blue. There was no need for it, I just wanted the picture of the bike. So I cropped that image and took it down basically half the size of the image, therefore halving the size of the time it takes to load in. So that is optimising your images. So getting down to here, uh, we'll go into our files palette and I'll open up the images I actually have within this site. Now if you look at the names of them, this one, Harley underscore Davison underscore 2003 underscore Road King underscore, you get the drift. <laughs> It is basically giving you the name of the motorbike, the year it was made, the model, everything. And you could put in the colour as well. So that is a perfectly optimised name for a image. A poorly optimised name would be Bike 1, Bike 2, or in some cases Image 1, Image 2. You get a sentence to name an image. Use that, utilise that full line to give your image a good title and we'll come on to that in a minute why it's so important. Uh, go down to the next one, Honda EV06 Concept. This is telling you this isn't just a Honda bike, it's a Concept bike and there's the model. So we'll come down here again, Yamaha, Yamaha Green 260. So this is uh, giving your images relative uh, names. The reason this is important as this. Search engines, when they came to your website to search your website, Google, Yahoo and all others came to a thing called your meta keywords which can be found here in your code view up near the top and we have here meta name description and content. So this is a description for this site. It's just a test site. It could be better. Um, I recommend about at least one paragraph. I've just wrote in Classic Bikes is a leading website based in the UK. We offer a wealth of information on anything bike related. Our site offers information on all events, local and worldwide. And I could go on and on and on there and write more and more and more, which I would if this website was actually live. But you get the idea there. So next we come down and you've got another meta. And this time it's your meta keywords. So I've put in meta keywords as motorbikes, motorcycles, MotoGP, uh, TT, I think they are names of races. I don't actually know much about motorbikes, but I know that's a race and I think that's a race. So then I've moved on and I've put in Yamaha, Suzuki, Harley Davidson, names of motorbikes, and there's about another 20 names you could think of off the top of your head you could put in there. So that's just words, that's not a description, it's not a flo flowing paragraph like your description is. So you have your meta description and you have your meta keywords and this is where the search engines used to go to identify what your site was all about. Now the reason they stopped or some of them stopped is because people were just shoving in any old junk in here. Anything that was popular on the web. Music, movies is a big thing. So people would just type in here Madonna, Michael Jackson, the name of a hot new album, the name of a hot new film. Any hot words they would type in here. This would result in them being highly ranked in these searches and people would visit their sites and if they typed in looking for a new album and came to my site and seen it was motorbikes and then left, then these people wouldn't care because they had had a hit and 
time's not monitored, hits are. So by them getting a hit, they would be ranking up and up and up. So you get the drift there. So the last thing you're going to do is call your images Madonna, Michael Jackson and stuff because you can't actually get a preview of your image here. You can't see what it is. Most people like their site nice, neat and tidy and uniformed and naming them just stupid names wouldn't do that. So these search engines now come to your images folder and they target the images folder, search through it and then they cross-reference it with your meta description and your meta keywords. And if it's found that they don't match up, your website will be dropped like a hot potato and will not appear in any searches. Uh, you don't need to worry if you've got like names of uh, the name suspension, wheels, bikes, in description or meta keywords. Because when they search your images folder, they can link those kind of names up to being parts of motorbikes. So that's probably one of the most important things, your images, give them good long names, describe them down to a T and give them as, be as descriptive as you can. So moving on to the next thing, regularly update your site. Your site needs to be regularly updated. Uh, these things are monitored. If you just put a site out there and it lies dormant, then you will end up nowhere. Now, maybe the most important thing is in Inbound links, right? Inbound links are so important. You could have a hundred links going out from this website to other websites, and one incoming link is worth more than a hundred outgoing links. By an incoming link, we mean, say, I get in touch with someone that is r ranking high on a Google search or a Yahoo search, and they're obviously in competition with you because they might be about motorbikes as well uh, you might offer something that they don't they might not have an events page that covers events in the UK so you say hey if you put a link in, a, in, in your website leading to mine they can link to your site and that will give you a huge amount of credit with these search engines even more so if they link to a particular page within your website so they're not just linking to your index page they'll say they're linking to this events page Google then recognizes that and says hey they're actually linking to a certain page in this person's website which leads us to think that this site is all actually offering something that this site we're ranking as high as we are doesn't so it's all about credit and <coughs> it really is important if you can figure out a way, it's really hard to get an income link off your website as a competitor type thing, but if you can find some way to get a, a link from someone's website that's related to you in a way but isn't, if you know what I mean, a, and they link to your website and they don't feel threatened as being competition, then that would maybe be the way to go. So. That's just a few points uh, on how to optimise your site for the web. Remember, always update your site. Now, if I was to type motorbikes into Google just now, or motorcycles, I would come up with about 2 million, 3 million, I don't know, maybe even 10 million different sites. And it might look a bit daunting, but for don't for one second think that uh, you're up against all of those sites, because at first, Let's, how many times have you went to a site and it's just been links to another place? They've just snapped up that domain name. They're not using it. So that's a poorly optimised site. You'll slot on above that. And there's hundreds of other sites, hundreds of thousands, millions of other sites out there that are poorly optimised. And they're not regularly updated. Some of them just even sitting dormant. Uh, you will rank in somewhere good. But to take the thing called the leap, that's going from number like... 2 million to number 326 that's the kind of jump you can make by having a good optimised website and a credible incoming link so I hope this video has been useful and until the next tutorial keep on learning and stay safe